Hello and welcome to Series Makers. This is a game all about creating our own TV studio. Very similar to something like Game Dev Tycoon, where we're just sort of a nobody in our closet, or our closet, our garage, creating a uh, creating some TV shows, and trying to make some cash on it. Eventually, things may go well, and we can hit it big, start creating our own studio, hiring on directors and, and uh, other folks and, and st stars of our shows, and trying to make money. It's being developed by Crew Studio Kruger. Came out just a few days ago on Steam, and I thought we should take a look at it. I mentioned Game Dev Tycoon. It's, yeah, there's a whole lot. There's a lot of games that are very similar to this style, and this is one of those. Just rather than being games, we're making TV shows. So, first off, my studio name is going to be called uh, Nook Flicks, and my name is going to be called Nook. And I am a guy. I have, uh, we'll say I have hair. Uh, I'm very pasty because I sit inside all day on the computer. And, uh, yeah, close is fine. Okay, so, early on here, it's a very, very slow start. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a little bit here, and I'm going to fast forward into my saved game that I have that has us actually at a proper studio, and, and things are actually moving along there. So, but first off, to show off what's happening here, I got a little bit, of, I got 300 bucks in my pocket, I have zero fans, I have nothing, actually. Uh, I, I can research things if I want to and learn how to make new movies. I can learn how to make a post-apocalypse movie, Samurai's War, Airplanes. Let's, let's make a show first. Make a new series. Let's pick a theme. Our new TV show is going to be about... <laughs> we're gonna, it's about pirates. What's the setting? The setting is going to be a history. A, a history show about pirates. Our audience is going to be... We, uh, it's, it says family. I think it means like our family. We're going to make or recording this film for our family. There's only 50 people are going to watch this thing. Potentially. Or a click, I guess it's going to be like our, um, we, we take it to the YMCA and, and show it to some folks there, I guess. I don't know. Take it to church and show people. But that's what that is. Costs us 250 bucks to show it off at church. We got, but with potentially some viewers there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to name this thing um, um, Nookbeard's um, Booty. No, 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 no. Uh, Nook, Nookbeard's uh, <laughs> Treasure. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we get some things up here. We got, we got visuals, sound, style, and story, right? That's the things about how our show works. I don't know why it's highlighting the wrong things. Uh, research points, yes, down this way. Okay, so I am hard at work making my movie. In a moment, we're going to choose who's going to star in this movie because I do have a couple of protagonists. I have Douglas Taylor, who is very smart, and we have Jim Tainer, who's very brave. Now, as we use these protagonists in our films, uh, if if they go over well, they'll gain skills, they'll gain uh, experience, and they'll get to be better at be better uh, actors, I guess. Uh, we can do the same thing too. We can learn research as well, and learn how we can learn how to make new movies or new themes. We can learn, a, a, as I mentioned before, samurais or airplanes. Um, we can go and we can work on uh, training ourselves as well. So we have a history pirate thing. We want action, humor, or complexity. Humor seems like it shouldn't be there. Maybe, maybe a tiny bit of humor. We'll put in mostly action, I think, is going to be our thing. So, yeah, this is an action movie. No, oh, it's history, isn't it? Um, yeah, we still want action, though. Action, complexity, a hint of humor. Okay. So, we're, getting, we're, we're slowly working up our bubbles here to get us some skills. And we're going to uh, show this to our church. We've got to figure out who's going to star in this, however, first. I think we're going to put in old um, we put Jim the Brave Guy. Or Douglas, the smart guy. I'm going to put Douglas in. Because he's smart. It's a it's a history flick. Let's do that. There's a bit of a story here. We're working for Netflix, I think is what it, what it is. And uh, eventually things go well. We'll, we'll, we'll get to uh, get ourselves a studio and, and advertising and all of that. We spent 200 of our dollars making this film. We had a mistake there for a moment. We, we managed to get it under control. We, uh, we finished production. We can go a little bit longer and slow. Some things may show up, but we're just going to finish this thing. But we get 25 bucks a week, I guess, just to, to live. We got a new theme. It's, it's, it's a bonus. A new setting is good. Uh, we have all kinds of new stuff here. It's an awesome combination, which means pirates and and uh, history is a good combo, which is good for us. I've gained level two there. Let's go ahead and broadcast this thing. Um, Douglas Taylor, we can experience uh, level this guy up. I'm going to give him, I'm going to make him smarter. Doug, you're going to be a smart guy, okay? Forget happiness. Can I, um, let's put, we'll keep a little bit of happiness. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
as he gets more famous, it helps our our film out because he's famous. People want to go see it. Okay, after we finish, we'll do a report. But first, we have to see what the ratings say. We all know how important the ratings are. Eh, that's not too bad. 6.25. Douglas Taylor was good. Uh, I'm flawed, apparently, so he's joking. Uh, team's very good. Well, that's me. And the setting theme is very good, says Sebastian. Okay, now we can never do a report and get some experience, some research on this thing. First, got to wait for the cash to come flowing in for all of our viewers. We got people, right, we took it to church. We got a few folks watching this thing. We're going to do a series report to learn about this. 11 people watched it in the first week. We got more than 11 the next week. 20 people the next week. We're going to look at all the cash flowing in. I don't know how they're paying us. I guess they're tipping us. History and Pirates is a very good combination. And for the story of this theme, action is important. So next time we do a, uh, a theme with um, pirates, we know that action is is the key, obviously. So we're to 500 bucks now. 590 now. And what we can do is we're doing that series report, which have we done it yet? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we just did it, which gave me some research, which allows me to do things like come in here and train myself with 15 points. I can train myself to make myself a better director. Uh, I can, of course, as I mentioned before, get new themes. Uh, we, it only takes three to get a new theme. We can get a, 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 a show about lawyers. A show, I want a show about magicians. Yes. Um, no, I'm not going to hire any people. We're just going to go in here, and as soon as that is done, we're going to go and make a new a new show. 80 people watch that show. Okay. Magicians is done. New series. This is going to be uh, about magicians. Oops. About magicians. Magicians in space. Medieval Magicians. Yes. Medieval Magicians is our key here. This is going to be shown to a school. We're taking it to school. There's potentially a thousand people are going to watch this thing. We're going to call it... Um, magic... Uh, um, medieval Magicians. I mean, that makes sense. Um, how about... Uh, Merlinook. Okay. Now we shall see how Merlinook does... With the kids. Sounds like a thing I would want to watch in school. So this, the first, uh, quite a bit of the, of the of the game plays out like this early on. And then more things happen. We'll jump there in just a moment. So I think Medieval Magicians is going to be not a humor show. Maybe a little bit of humor. Um, I think it's going to be an action show. 49% action. Let's go 50% action. Okay. There's no complexity with magicians. You just wave your hands and cast spells. We get pocket money for living. Uh, I'm going to put Jim in on this because this is a bravery kind of thing. Jim, I need you to work for me. Act like you've never acted before. Act did before. Okay, it is now done. No mistakes. A little bit of fame because nobody knows who Jim is. Or me. Okay, occasionally another blip will pop up here. There we go, we got a little more fame there. There we go, points come in. Okay, I'm good. Let's Let's call it. New theme is good. Awesome combination, apparently. New protagonist, right? We got a new guy there, so that helps us out. People like seeing new faces. I'm getting experience as well. Let's broadcast this thing to the school. Uh, I gotta give you my points. Let's go put you in some bravery and some and some happiness. He's really dumb, but he's brave. That's what you need as a medieval magician. How about you? 6.5, not too bad. Jim Tainer was over average. Okay. Phenomenal combination. Nook was bad. Sebastian? You got a problem, buddy. Okay, now same thing. We're going to see if we get any kind of cash. And this is how it runs for a while. For for probably longer than it should. Because <laughs> it takes a long time to get anywhere interesting here. Uh, but we'll jump there in just a moment to interesting things. But we're slowly getting viewers in. we got 30 people in the first week. People are are streaming in to see our our TV show. We now know how to do marketing. And all kinds of people are watching our show. We got thousand bucks now, and next up we can go and make a new series that goes to. Uh, it's not there yet. The next up we go to a TV network. Is our next step. Uh, when I was playing this before, um, series. I want to look at this one. Can I do this one yet? No. Um, I I did several series, and I finally had one I did was like a space cyborgs. I think is what it was, and it like blew up. Uh, and I ended up so I was getting you know this many viewers. I was like. 200 viewers, 300 viewers. I think 500 was like the mo most I'd ever had. I had like four fans. I got one, my first fan today. Uh, and it exploded, and uh, Netflix picked it up, 
and I ended up with with thousands of viewers and and hundreds of fans all in that after that one show, which then was allowed me to go to a, a an office. So let's go do that. Let's go look over that office right now. Um, this one. Yeah, I named my office. I named my game Test. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so here we are. I have an office. There is me, and there's my twin over here, Sheldon Whooper, who I hired. Uh, he's another director. He's a sound editor that I have hired to work for me. I got 1.9 thousand fans right now. We can see my series history here. First series, I did kind of terrible here. Series three, medieval time travel. No one likes it. But we, we worked our, uh, away. We had this one here. I think this was it. Series 11 was uh, space time travel, was it? was our thing. It cost me some money to it cost me a lot of money. And I made four hundred thousand bucks on this thing. Thanks to Jesse Redman. And it was able to be streamed on Netflix. So that's the one that that paid off. So um actually you know what? Yeah that that, that was the one. That was the one because that yeah because before I was getting like four thousand bucks. So now uh now we're doing pretty good because now we're on Netflix and now we have an option if we want to come in here and do a new series. Let's start off a new series real quick. Um, well, let me look at the, um, let's go look at the research first. So all kinds of new things are in here too. I can learn, uh, new sounds, uh, new sound, new linear, linear story. That seems like something we should probably have. Let's go ahead and learn that. Uh, Sheldon, what are you doing over here? Why don't you learn, can I get you training? No, I need more points for you. He's not very good. Don't tell him I said that. We can fire the guy. Um, he can research a theme though. Let's get, um, pyramids. Let's get animation. Let's learn some animation. Yeah. That seems like an idea. Okay, so we got linear story. We now have animation coming in. We got 160,000 bucks in the bank. Let's go make a new film. New series, sorry. Um, so this theme is going to be animation and space. I do a lot of space. I don't think the game likes me doing space anymore. Let's just do a future. Future animation. That seems okay. Um, my director is going to be me, because Sheldon's no good. And then the TV station, I can put it on Netflix or Fly, which is very expensive. $100,000 to put it on Fly. I'm going to do it, though. And it's going to be a small project. We don't, we don't have the money for a medium project size. So a small project size. So $155,000 to run this series, which I haven't named any of these yet. We're going to call it... Um, anime nooks. Okay, we may go a little bit, a little bit in debt here. No problem. So we're gonna work on this. We're gonna get much bigger numbers here. And there's a couple, there's a few different things that change here once we get higher level. Um, you can see I also I can hire people. I can go take out ads to go hire some staff. Uh, that's where I got Sheldon from. And I can get, uh, I can actually come in and I can hire a new protagonist if I had a designer. I can get a new protagonist, and I can hire some new guy as a, or girl as a um, a protagonist for, as my, um, my my actor. Um, so future animation. I don't know anything about this. I'm assuming action is the key. It's got to be. Got to be action. Let's go more action. More action. Like that. Okay. Crank this thing out. Bubbles are much much better. Mistakes will slowly go away as we well, like bugs and game dev. Both slowly work them off, um, but we're getting all kinds of of points. Points are good. Who's gonna run this thing? I think we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with the brave guy, James. Or the I guess James is a girl. Uh, James is twenty one brave. Not very smart. He's only half as popular as Jesse though. We're spending all this money. I think maybe we should put it on Jesse. Jesse's popular. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure we put all our Jesse eggs in, in one in the basket. So hopefully, Jesse can uh, make us some cash here. We had to pay Sheldon there four point six thousand bucks. Okay, now here we go. So um, we have to assign us to various jobs here. So I want to put. I can't get these because I have no money. So I could. I can't put bonuses here. Um, but I can help these bump it up a little bit. So like Sheldon is a good sound guy. So we can put him on the sound, but sound's already good. I'm going to put Sheldon on the video. I'm going to go on to the... I'm not sure what that one is. I don't, I don't remember what that one is. But that one. Okay, so I've helped it out a bit because I'm skilled at things. So we got a, a sort of an even board there. Okay, we finished it up. we got to let him kind of clean up those mistakes though before we finish this thing. We are in debt right now. We get 50, 50 bucks, 50,000 in debt we lose. 
So we can let him keep going. We're getting broke. Let's go ahead and finish it up. New theme? Yeah. Maybe I guess it's not a good theme because I didn't get bonus, uh, points for that. How are we looking? I leveled. I leveled up to level 11. Excellent. Sheldon, level 4? Yeah. Okay. Broadcast that thing. So Jesse has leveled up apparently, so we're going to give him some more intelligence and some more happiness. There we go. All right, Jesse. All right, ratings. Give me something good here. This is a lot of money I just spent. Eh, the story was flawed. It was a nice combination. Jesse is over average. Is that good? It sounds like a bad thing. Director Nook was awesome. Thank you, Sebastian. Okay, so we can we can do a report. I mean, it's not terrible. 5.5 .5 isn't the worst. So we'll see how it goes. We're getting all kinds of viewers in on this thing. Um, we're going to need a lot more than that, though. Let's do a series report. See how it went. We get some research out of this. For doing that, we also learn about animation and all that. So 43,000 bucks in one week. Not too bad. We're up to 100 grand already. Uh, humor is important, apparently. Oh, oh, it's a cartoon. You mean cartoon, not anime. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, minor mistakes. I don't know why. There's a v yeah, there's a VHS tape on top of our computer. It's the 80s, right? Well, we got we got some good money though. We got 200 grand again. That's more than we had before. Okay, we made, we got some fans in here. We got to pay that guy. Um. Well, I'm gonna hire. Take a newspaper ad. Let's see if we can hire somebody. We'll search for some employees. See if we can find somebody here. Um. I'm not going to fire that guy. No, he's fine. Okay, so we can hire up. So Sheldon is a, a sound guy, so we don't need any sound people. We have Francis, a designer, which we can use, and Will as, a, as well. Mm, Will is better, but Francis is cheaper. 10000 is it worth it? I'll, I'll bring it. Come on in, Will. Okay, so Will now works for us. Okay, Will is very pasty. Uh, now, I think I can hire in... I'm not sure how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and create a pro protagonist. Yes. Um, Will's going to do it. So make me... What are you going to Are you cloning him? What's happening here? Are you creating him out of the computer? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, while he's doing that, I did my report already. Let's go ahead and start up a new series. Let's get something that we, we know... Well, so I suppose we should research just something real quick. Let me research a new thing. Mm, all this stuff seems like something we want. Quality sound seems like something we want as well. Uh, I'm going to make themes, though. I want... Um, ooh, ghosts. Zombies. Zombies we want. Okay. Can't go wrong with zombies. And everything else here is fine. We'll get a zombie film out. Okay. And... Oh, we can, I can name you? Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be, um, oh. yes. Okay. Bob is here. Okay. All right. I would like to make a new show. It's about zombies. It's about zombies, and it's zombies in the city. Zombies on the farm, zombies in the city, I think is good. We're playing this one on, I don't think I can afford this. We're going to put it on Netflix. And I'm going to direct it. Because I'm the director. And the project is going to be small. Because I can't afford a bigger one. Let's start this thing up. I forgot to name it. I for completely forgot to name it. Series number 16. What the, this is the worst. I haven't named it. I'm gonna have my little, this is my test game. I'm just continuing on here. I haven't named any of these. As you can tell. Uh, except for the one I just did. So yeah. 8.25 is the best I've gotten. I had a couple sevens in here. I had a few in a row that were really good. Um, I did really t awful. 2.75 on my second one was horrible. A space sitcom I was going for. I don't see anything wrong with a space sitcom. I would watch it. I would certainly watch that. So, whatever. The game doesn't know what's good, clearly. Okay, so... Um, we're paying all kinds of money for our people. We, from Merch for Series, would like to offer some merchandise products of Jesse Redman. Of course, you get a fat share. Yeah, yeah. Okay, City Zombies is going to be a action-packed... It seems like it should have humor in it. A little bit of humor, I think. Yeah. Bob Ross. Actor. Lead. For City Zombies. He's going to beat the devil out of those zombies. 
Okay. Um, I mean, Jesse. Okay. Uh, Bob? I'm counting on you here, buddy. All right. I need you to go crazy. Paint some cabins in there. And we need some points. So now that we have... Oh, I can, I can, I can afford this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and buy those. Sound and mono perspective. I guess it's good. Um, so Will the designer, I guess, is going to go into here. And then I'm the director, so I'll go into visual. And Sheldon, he's the sound guy. He's got to go in the sound. We're going to have really good sound on this. We're going we're gonna to hear Bob's bones getting cracked. It's going to be great. Okay, let's fix those mistakes. You guys are a bunch of screw-ups. Let's fix this. Okay. I think we're good. Will you go ahead and finish it? We're in the 40s on everything. I think a big part of this is whether... It's a good combination. Awesome combination, eh? Great protagonist, that's right. Everyone loves Bob. Screenplay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's getting points here. I'm not really sure. I think what this is doing is it's it's leveling ourselves up for um, the ability to get better points, I think. Okay, broadcast that thing. Bob. Uh, Bob, you are uh, happy, Bob. Bob, you are all about happy. Okay. We now know how to make mono perspective version 3, multi camera, simple sound, advanced sound. Oh, multi camera, eh? I understand that one. I need, I need a winner here. Ooh, 7.5. Bob Ross was amazing. You can say that again. And it was just amazing. Zombies in the city. Never seen a story so good. Nook was awesome. Okay, how do we do here? That's, that's good points. That's good, good rate, ratings. Come on, I need more viewers than that. Come on, come on. I wish I'd put it on something besides Netflix. However, the one I did... I guess what happened was... I put it on, on my TV, my local TV network. And Netflix picked it up. which what happened. So it just automatically bumped it up to Netflix. So I guess it's possible for it to automatically go from Netflix up the next chain, I guess. I assume. Okay, I want to know where, uh, where this money from... Um, Old Jesse's coming from. I like to have some of that. We got all kinds of fans in here. Let's go ahead and do a report real quick on that one. Well, what do you do besides sit there? I'll give you some training. 15 points to give you a little bit of training. No, no, no. You're fine. Okay, a bunch of research coming in. We got 14,000 people watch this show. 15,000, which isn't very many. Um, action is important, and a little bit of humor. We got 400 grand though now, so um, we should be able to go. Is there anything else that we can do that I haven't shown off here? I don't think so. Uh, as far as I understand, we can go up to eventually we we'll go up to a bigger studio. This is like the this is just the next step up. Um, I'm curious about what happens when I hit level five training. This bubble here, I'm not sure if there's some sort of next level to that or not. Uh, let's do one more series here. So um, I want to do a war. I wish I could get a new setting. Can I get any new settings? Commissions. TV station commissions. Huh? Quality sound. Sidekick. Oh. Sidekick. Can I have two protagonists? Bob and Jesse? Okay, I researched the sidekick. Now, let's research. I'm out of research points, so we're going to have to go and just get nothing. So, we're going to make a new series... It's going to be a sitcom. I did not say series. Stop that. A sitcom in the city. It's a buddy cop show. So we're going to call it Bob, Bob and Jesse. Cops. Okay. Um, I will direct this. And let me look at this real quick. What are you good at? You're good at sound. You're good at, yeah, that one. Okay. And I'm good at a little bit of everything. Uh, station's gonna be on fly. Oh, I can't quite afford that. It's too much. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so I don't know if this works where we get both of our protagonists in there. We're gonna find out. Uh, some of my people start crying about needing vacations, but we don't do vacations. All right, here at, at, uh, at test offices. Okay, so we see how this one goes before we call it a day here. I want to see if we can make some cash here. So we know that city sitcom is not very... Uh, oh, it's a sitcom. So action not important. Humor, very important. 
It's all humor. It's just a hilarious show. Funniest show you've ever seen with Bob and Jesse. You saw Bob getting eaten by zombies, but you'll never believe what you'll see in Bob and Jesse. Cops. So I'm going to try putting Bob in there. And I'm assuming they're going to put in the, in the... We'll see if this works. It may not. Okay. I want that one. I want you on there. Okay, that's all good. Okay. Where is my ability to put in... Oh, marketing. I forget marketing. Um, yeah, take out a radio ad. Okay. Ten mistakes. We fix those. We're broke. It's fine. Sheldon's whining about needing to break, but he's not going to get it. Can we get forward on anything? Oh, he left anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and finish it up. 64 fame. That's good. Great protagonist. Awesome combo. So I guess we didn't get to add Jesse in there. 13? Yeah. Sheldon's level link up as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's just putting me Bob. So I guess even though we get a sidekick, I guess he's going to just some random sidekick. Seven. Bob Ross is amazing. Seven's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna roll in the dough. We spent a lot of money on that show. I'm gonna give you more than that. Mm, 2.4, not too terrible. We got some lot of fans out of that. 5,000 viewers. I mean, it's not really the greatest, I suppose. Um, let me do a uh, report here. This one was on Fly, so this is... It cost me twice as much to put it on this network as it did Netflix. If I look at... When this is done, let me look at my... Um, report here. Humor is important. Action on important. Um, can I see? So this one got us 24,000 viewers. How much did anim... No, it was 24,000. What was uh, 16? 15,000. That's it? Because it was on Netflix, not the other one. I better get more viewers than that. They're slowly coming in. Oh man, it just didn't do as very good, did it? We got money back. We had 400000 at one point. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Anyway, we're going to call it a day here. So this is Series Makers. It's on Steam right now. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.